Hello, and welcome to Wild McLean's Tech Tip Videos. I'm Brian, and today we will be taking a look at our high efficiency boilers and how to retrieve the error codes when the boiler is in a lockout condition. Basically, we have three different styles of controls on these boilers. And the first one we will take a look at is the U control style controller, which is found on the Ultra, Evergreen, WM97, and Eco boilers. It will have four arrow buttons and a square button in the middle. To retrieve the most recent error, hold the up and down arrow buttons until Contractor Menu appears. Click on Diagnostics, then click Errors or Past Errors, then Lockout History 1. If the boiler you are working on is the Evergreen or Eco Boiler, it will display the fault name, as you can see here. The display shows high temp limit. Then we follow the manual to the proper solution for high temp limit. Now, if you are working on an Ultra or WM97, clicking on Lockout History 1 will not show the fault code. There is one more step after clicking on Lockout History 1. You will need to look at the lines Manual Reset and Auto Reset. One of them will say yes. Click on the one that says yes and the fault code will be displayed. Once you have determined the fault name, check the manual for the proper steps to diagnose and repair the cause of the lockout. You can return to the home screen by pressing the left arrow button or after 10 minutes, the screen will automatically return to the home screen. For our Ecotech unit, if the boiler is in lockout, the screen will show the fault name on the display. Use the manual to determine the solution for the fault. If you need to retrieve past errors, hold the WM logo for a few seconds to open the contractor menu. Then click Diagnostics and Fault History. Then you will see a list of past faults. Just select and click on that error to find the details. Press the left arrow button to return to the home screen or just allow the control to return to the home screen after 10 minutes automatically. Now, for our aqua balance boiler, the current fault will be listed on the screen, either as a lockout code or blocking code. The manual lockout codes need to be manually reset after the condition has been corrected by pressing the reset button for one second. The blocking codes will reset automatically when the fault is corrected. Use the manual to determine what the fault code means and how to correct it. If you need to look at the history of the error codes, press the reset button for 20 seconds. TS will be displayed. Press the bottom plus button until HI is displayed, then press reset for one second to enter the history mode. H01 will be displayed. Press the top plus or minus button to display the fault code, or press the bottom plus button to advance to the next fault code in the history, and press the top plus button to see the fault code. To exit this mode, hold the reset button for 20 seconds to return to the home screen. Well, thanks for watching. We hope this video was helpful and be sure to download our Pro Tools app. It has everything you'll need to help diagnose and repair Weill McLean products 
along with lots of other features.